We're here on the uh, Detroit River at the International Wildlife Refuge. We were reached out uh, back in May by Susan White with U.S. Fish and Wildlife. They have a huge shoreline erosion issue with the rising waters in collaboration with NOAA, uh, the state of Michigan, the, the federal government, Army Corps engineers. We were brought in here to offer some solutions on this last natural mile uh, of shoreline uh, along the Detroit River. Back here we have the guys finishing up a boulder wall we had to bring in. Uh, 6,500 pound boulders to protect the shoreline to make sure that it was not going to be destroyed by the ice flow, anything like that. We were the only company that could actually offer these guys a solution that wasn't structural steel or anything of that nature. Uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife is trying to do everything they can to preserve this last natural mile. The water has to be able to go through it, but we don't want the material washing out into the river. That can't happen. And that's what we're stopping with the boulders, the four foot by five foot boulders, the 6,000 pound boulders, that's stopping everything from eroding the shoreline. It used, it was 25 foot out further than, than it is now, and the rivers kept washing it away. So we, we were contracted here to stop that from happening because it was damaging the structure. Working in the refuge, you don't want to be tearing everything up. You want to keep everything as natural as possible. And that's what we were able to do by working with nature as opposed to against it by bringing in all natural products and not something that is man-made. Water's Edge was happy to step in and work with these guys on this project and be the solution to the shoreline restoration and remediation project.